The word could is a tricky modal verb in English with a lot of uses. To make it easier to understand, let's divide it into five categories. We can use could to talk about the past. We can use it to talk about future possibilities. We can use it for transactions. It also helps us talk about the way in which we perceive the world. And last but not least, it's an excellent way to add emphasis to specific feelings. An example of could in the past is, as a kid, I could watch TV every day. A possibility in the future might be, bring a raincoat, it could rain today. A transaction refers to interacting with someone else by making offers, requests, suggestions, or asking for permission. A good example is, could I give you a hand with dinner? Perception is how we sense the world or things about other people. For example, I could tell he was American. Finally, could often gives us the ability to highlight how we're feeling about a situation. You might recognize the sentence, could I be wearing any more clothes, from a famous episode of the TV show Friends. Now that we have our categories ready, let's look at each one in more detail so you can start to master this verb. The first way we can use could to talk about the past is regarding ability and permission. It allows us to talk about something that a person was able to do for a while. Here's an example. 20 years ago, I could run fast. Now I'm as slow as a turtle. Try repeating that sentence out loud. Twenty years ago, I could run fast. Now I'm as slow as a turtle. This means that 20 years in the past, you had the ability to run fast for an extended period. Perhaps you could run fast between when you were 10 years old and 30 years old. Here's another example. He couldn't read until he was 10. Try to repeat it. He couldn't read until he was 10. Like before, we refer to general ability or lack of ability to do something for a period in the past. Now look at this sentence. How would you fill in the blank to say that you achieved your goal of running five miles yesterday? I was able to run five miles yesterday. Why didn't I use could here? Because could usually refers to an ability in general that you had for a lot of time. We don't usually use could to talk about a specific achievement in the past that happened at a specific time. Do you think could works in this sentence? The answer is it depends on the context. If the idea is that you found the word got over an extended period, then it's okay. For example, I could find the word got in a lot of songs whenever I studied English. In this case, whenever I studied English is not a specific moment, it's a period of time. On the other hand, if you were talking about a test, then saying I could find the word got in a lot of songs on the test doesn't fit. In this case, you should say I was able to find the word got in a lot of songs on the test, or I managed to find the word got in a lot of songs on the test. Both of these make it clear that you're talking about one specific past achievement. Like anything in English, there are a few exceptions. Look at this sentence. They couldn't find the story yesterday. Unlike could, it's okay to use couldn't to talk about a specific past achievement or action. One of the only times you might use could to talk about a specific achievement is if you use it with what is called a limiting adverb. Something like only, never, or hardly. This is the only thing I could find. Or they could never find that store. Thanks to that limiting adverb, we now limit the word could to a specific moment. Another way to use could in the past is to talk about a possibility that maybe happened. Take a guess at how you can use could to complete this sentence. Why isn't she here yet? I'm not sure. She could have missed her bus. When we talk about the possibility of something that maybe happened in the past, we use the construction could have plus a past participle. 
These are things like danced, swam, cooked, or been. How can you use that structure here? Who told him about the layoffs? It could have been Matt and HR. By the way, layoffs refer to when a company fires workers due to a lack of money or available work. Try this one. Where did your brother go this morning? Who knows? He could have gone swimming. Last one. Did Elise do this? It couldn't have been her. She was with me. As you can see, you can also use the negative form of could to refer to the possibility that something did not happen using the same structure. This, of course, is another way to talk about possibilities in the past specifically the possibility of something that did not happen. How would you say that somebody had the opportunity to help you, but they did not help you? You could have helped me, but you didn't. And that's the great news. It's the same structure as before. Simply say could have plus a past participle, like come, went, sung, or visited, to talk about a possibility that did not happen. You'll usually be able to tell if it's a possibility that maybe happened or didn't happen based on the context. How can you use that structure in this sentence to express that you did not have the possibility to win, so you didn't even try? I couldn't have won the race. How does it fit here? When I realized that I could have come, you had already left. This means that by the time you knew that you had the opportunity to come, it was no longer possible. Last one. How can you use the couldn't have structure to express that it was impossible for your guests to arrive at a worse time? They couldn't have arrived at a worse time. This means that maybe they arrived right as the food you were cooking for them caught on fire. <laughs> it was the worst time for them to arrive. There was no possibility for them to come at a worse time. The last way we use could in the past is to talk indirectly about something that involves ability or permission. This might not be super clear, so let's look at some examples. Imagine you're in your car and looking for a parking spot. You just found one, but you're not sure if you can park there. So you ask a policeman, can we park here? And the policeman responds, yes. When you get back to your car, your family asks you, what did they say? The answer to this question is, they said we could park here. The policeman says you can park here, but when you tell your family what the policeman told you in the past, we change can to could. How might you change this sentence to the past? I thought I could do it by myself. You are reporting that in the past, you thought you had the ability to do something. How can you report what your friend said in the past? She said she could come at 11 a.m. Now pretend you're having a conversation with your boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, or significant other. You say, I can go to the store tomorrow. Unfortunately, they weren't listening, so they ask you, what? It's time for you to report what you said in the past. How would you do it? I said I could go to the store tomorrow. Congratulations, you finished the first category. The final four categories are for my DeliberateEnglish.com subscribers. If you're already a subscriber, check your email because I gave you access to the full videos. If you're not a subscriber but want to learn more about the final four categories of could and get access to the complete series, simply go to DeliberateEnglish.com modals to sign up for free. There's a link in the description below. I look forward to seeing you there.